Okay, so today I wanted to show you a new feature that comes with the Paris release of ServiceNow. It's called the Change Success Score. So first thing you have to do is enable a plugin. Now the plugin is only really for the ITSM professional subscription, so if you don't have that, this isn't really for you. It's the change success score plugin. Right. Once you have that enabled, what it does is it creates a number of jobs uh, in uh, performance analytics. Those jobs v measure uh, for the assignment groups of the changes, the total changes, the successful. Uh, the number of changes that have issues, the number of unsuccessful changes, the number of incidents caused by change, either P1, P2, P3, uh, and starts tracking those metrics. Which it then includes in a dashboard. So there's now a change success score dashboard uh, that you can view for uh, any given uh, assignment group that you might have for a change. And it gives you all sorts of information about it. But wait, there's more. The coolest part about this is if we go to a, if we look at a change now, right, or if we're going to create a change and we're going to decide to as assign this change to a certain group, uh, we get a new little icon here next to the assignment group where we can view that particular group's change success scorecard. So we can get an idea. Uh, when we're creating the change and we're going to assign it to a group, whether or not this team that we're going to assign it to has a good track record or not. So kind of allows us to, if possible, pick and choose uh, which, which team we want to fulfill our change based on uh, their success. And we can view the change history details as well. So I thought that was pretty neat. New in Paris. Uh, so check it out.